Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we look at how we can send an email from a C-Sharp.net call application using the SMTP client. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So, the SMTP client is inside the system.net.mil namespace and system.net.mil.dll assembly. So the SMTP client allows applications to send email by using the simple mail transfer protocol, SMTP. So rather than just talking too much, let's get to it then, obviously. So in this video, obviously, we will send a Gmail email using the SMTP client. So we get started by obviously creating a new project. So we go to the start window, create a new project. We will use a console application in this example. So we, we open a console app.net call, so click next, then create. So now that we've got a console app created, so what we do is just go ahead and create simple method, public static, um, get username. So, so obviously it returns a string. So I'm just gonna return. So obviously I don't want y'all to see my the username, which is the email address, the from email address. So the next bit is is the same public static string. Get password. So I'm just gonna put the password here. So this is the password for the credentials from the email, from the from email account, right? So there's one more. So it's a public static string still to address so this is where we get the address the email address that we want to send to so still gonna return um okay, so i'm just gonna pause the video and enter all the all the stuff so you can do the same so basically the first one the get username will be the email address for from the from the from user and then the to address. So the from user will also need a password, right? So use the credentials, yeah? So I'm just gonna pause it. So now I've actually entered the data for that, that one. So what I'm gonna do is just gonna create another method. This will also be a public static void. This will be send email and this will take in string username or the from from email or um, let's let's just make it from address and then string which will be the password So now we can start with just using um, SMTP client. So we're just gonna call this our email, which will be equal to the new instance, right? The new SMTP client, yeah? So we use the object initializer instead so here, all we do is just set um, delivery method. This would be SMTP delivery dot network. So we have so we use default credentials. 
that will be false actually so we are just gonna set our own credentials so we have um, enable Excel XSL set that's true then we have um, the host so we're gonna send it to Google Gmail so we're gonna say SMTP dot gmail dot com then we have um, the ports which will be 587 then um, the credentials this will be a new network credential so that actually takes in the from address and then the password yeah so that's all we're gonna do for here for now so what we do next is we're just gonna say create um, a string variable this will be the subject of the email we just we're just gonna set um, we're just gonna type a YouTube video then we're gonna have another string variable which will be body So this will be, so let's make it a bit dynamic. So we can say, this is the main email sent at daytime.utc now, convert that to string full date string then what we do next is we put it inside a try catch block so this will be SMTP exception so inside the try the try block this is what we're gonna do put Console dot right line. Send an email. So the next bit is email dot send. So what we this the uh, what we're gonna put inside first the from address and then um, to to address which is the method that I created um, the subject and the body yeah. So I'm just gonna put another console right line here and say email send, right? So in this case here, yeah, I'll just open this emulator and then I'll just open the Gmail to, to show you the email that we sent, including this message, right? So what we do next is, of course, um, we're gonna try and ri run it. Um, of course if you send it to gmail you're gonna have to um turn on to, uh, you have to allow less secure applications to, to to send the gmail through this application right so you're gonna have to do that yeah so after after you're done with that then we can run it just to see what actually happens yeah so it's being run i'm just i just have this gmail i mean So as you can see here, there's, uh, I mean, I'm just gonna pause it. Yeah, it's because the method here, I'm supposed to actually call the method here and put console.reline. So uh, we're gonna say send email. So the from address is 
get username and then the get password will be the password so this will actually send the email so just gonna put console.readline here so we're gonna run it again I'm just gonna open this emulator here so email sent so I'm just gonna open a gmail inside the emulator here gmail so just a sec so as you can see here now I've got the email received it's, it's loading now so I'm just gonna pause it so as you can see it's not showing up properly that but this is the email that was sent from that this application to a gmail account right so i'm just going to leave it here i hope this helps so by obviously this smtp client is obsolete so there's a, there are new new um new frameworks that you can use so i'm just going to make a video on that so so once again if you haven't subscribed to the channel please make sure you do because i've got lots of videos coming up so good morning afternoon evening wherever you are blessed and peace